Assalamu alaikum dear students, hope you all are fine. Our lesson today is Natural Disasters and Their Impacts for Grade 3 Science. Objectives By the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify and name natural disasters, explore impacts of natural disasters on ecosystems. Okay students, as you can see in the diagrams here, this one, this one, this one, what is going on? Mm, you can identify some of them easily, like this one is a volcano eruption, this one is a forest fire, this one is tsunami, this one is also easy, it's drought, this is earthquake, this is flood, and this is hurricane. So, do you know? What are all these known as? Yes, these are all known as natural disasters. So how can we define natural disaster? Natural disaster is basically a major adverse event and it is caused by a natural process. Examples are flood, earthquakes, fires, forests, forest fires, droughts, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, etc. Okay. Can you guess what is going on in this picture? Yes, it's a picture of volcanic eruption. Even this one also. So, it means our first natural disaster is volcanic eruption. So, what is volcano? Volcano is basically a mountain that is created when magma travels up out of the earth crust. As you already know that earth is made up of three main layers. The upper layer is known as earth crust. The second one is mantle and the third one is coal. Now this part is very hot and it is in a liquid form. So what happens that liquid comes out piercing through the first and the second layer and then they form volcanoes. So as you can see here that the earth crust used to float on the liquid part of the earth and these are known as basically plates. So the plates help to create the volcanoes. How that these plates move from one place to another place or these plates move or vibrate and from here the lava comes out and volcanoes are formed. Okay, students, let's guess from these pictures what kind of natural disaster it can be. Yes, it's an earthquake. So what are earthquakes? Earthquakes are basically vibrations that move in all the directions across the earth. When tectonic plates move. Now, what are tectonic plates? I have discussed earlier with you that tectonic plates are the solid plates or solid earth crust which moves on the liquid part of our earth. That is lava. So, let's see that how earthquake occurs. As you can see in this diagram that one part of the earth is moving on this side and one part of the earth is moving on this side. It means that they are moving on the opposite sides. So let's see what happens during the earthquake. The first thing is that both plates or two or more than two plates move in different directions. They can move in the same direction also. They can move in different directions also. And it depends on the type of earthquake, what kind of earthquake that is. So they push against each other until they cause a sudden slip and the slip lets out, see here, a huge wave of energy. This is a wave of energy which is, which is coming out from the earth and it used to shake the ground and the spot on the earth is directly above will move and this all this spot is also known as epicenter epicenter means the center of the earthquake and you can see what is going on with the buildings and what is going on the in, with the infrastructure our next natural disaster is tsunami so what do you think tsunami is 
you can see in the picture this is a joint big wave and see the buildings are so small in front of this wave so it means that tsunami is a giant wave of water basically tsunami is a japanese word so what causes a tsunami how it happens tsunami is a giant wave that is caused by earthquake under the oceans and when there is an earthquake under the oceans the large amount of water is displaced and it moves in the form of a big big wave and when it strikes the shore or coastal areas it cause really a big disaster okay students our next natural disaster is flood so what is flood a flood is caused by heavy rain which makes the rivers oceans and other water reservoirs to spill over or to flow over their banks so what causes the floods what are the basic causes of floods deforestation ice and snow melting bad farming impact practices storms and increased urbanization some of them are natural causes and some of them are man made causes all these are the basic factors which cause flood can you see what is going on in this picture the land is very dry and there are cracks in the land and yes this is caused by another natural disaster that is known as a drought what is drought drought is basically a prolonged period very long time when we don't have any rainfall or very low rainfall in that area and it will cause a shortage of water for all the organisms present in that area this process is known as or this natural disaster is known as a drought so what are the cause, causes of droughts there are many reasons but the main one is precipitation deficiency precipitation deficiency means less rainfall dry season erosion and human activities erosion is basically caused by deforestation and climate change is also we have already discussed in climate change that severe kind of weather conditions will occur because of climate change the wet regions will become more wetter and the dry regions will become more drier okay our next natural disaster is hurricane hurricanes are basically big spiral of clouds as you can see here in this picture also let's see what are hurricanes hurricanes are huge spinning storms that are developed in a warm areas around the equator spinning storms of cloud you can see and the center of this storm is known as eye let's see what are the impacts of these natural disasters major impacts of these natural disasters are damage to infrastructure loss of wetlands destroyed landscape loss of usable water reservoirs damaged air quality soil erosion heavy floodings of inland areas reduced soil quality loss of biodiversity migration of organisms loss of habitat because of wildfires there are much more impacts but these are the major impacts which cause which, which are being caused by these natural disasters on ecosystems and on organisms thank you dear students stay home stay safe allah hafiz